Hey guys, what's up? I'm ATF and uh, here for a desktop review. Haven't done this in a while. Um, yeah, my very first days of YouTube right here at this desk. Um, but anyways, today we are talking about a CRKT. That's not the box it comes in, by the way, but it, obviously it does have the same look, that plain cardboard um, box to it. This is the uh, Stiff Kiss box. But today we are talking about a model that... Uh, doesn't seem to be too much over YouTube, at least the last time I checked. We are talking about the, oh, oh darn it, there we go, the CRKT Commer 3030. Now, um, if you are a gun enthusiast, which a lot of you are, the 3030, I believe, is a Winchester rifle. Correct me if I am wrong, um, but uh, being that this is one of their hunting knives, uh, that kind of makes sense, you know, that this is named after a uh, rifle. Alright, this is um, the Commer 3030, so uh, was designed by Mr. Russ Commer. Alright, cool dude. Alright, here we got 3 inches, so perfect length by the way. 3 inches of 1 point, I'm sorry, 1 1.4 116 stainless steel. Uh, it's not, let me kind of wipe that off my shirt, it's kind of fingerprinty. Some adhesive marks on there too. Um, get that back in focus. 1.4116, ooh, flashy, uh, which is a Rockwell hardness of around 55 to uh, 57. All right, we got a mirror polish there, obviously, as you can see. I'm doing that whole QVC twist the blade thing so you can see how beautiful she is. All right, anyways, a mirror polish and a high hollow grind. It may actually look like a um, flat grind, and I was actually thinking it was when I first got it. And then I looked at it, and I thought, that actually kind of looks like a hollow grind. Went on CRKT's website, sure enough, it's a high hollow grind. Um, but it cuts extremely well, like it is a flat grind. It's just a beautiful cutter, beautiful, great cutter. Let me show you the back there of the blade. Just like, whoops, there's some, I don't know what that is. Anyways, sorry about that kind of mark going down. I don't know what that's from. Anyways, there it says Commer 3030. Okay, very simple. Doesn't, you know, doesn't have, you know, a big old China plastered on there. So that's very nice. It has the, um, the, um, the ser or the number down there. And then obviously the, uh, the name of the knife, sorry, I had a brain fart there, and then the company there. So it's a very simple, elegant knife, you know, not too much um, labeling on here. You got dual thumb, or no, I'm sorry, uh, monodextrous thumb stud uh, is a liner lock, which we'll get to that in just a second here. Uh, the handle is 4.5 inches, so total we're around 7.5. Uh, Coco Bolo wood back here. They also have a version with uh, ebony, which is black. Um, and then, I, I believe this is just stainless steel up here, but I actually couldn't find information on that. But if you know, please um, um, help me out here, and I will put an annotation in the bottom um, so people will know. But it's like a, um, it looks like it's um, like a titanium coated stainless steel or something like that. It has that dark gray look to it. Really, really nice. All right, and we got two CR13 uh, liners in there, okay? Lockup, as you can see, is uh, pretty dang good, right? About in the middle. Uh, for those of you who care, I'm going to look at it and then show you guys. Um, see if I can get that in there. The, the uh, centering is pretty good. I think it's more to the thumb stud side, though. Um... But I'm one of those people who could not give a damn about that, you know. Um, some people just go crazy about that, and that's like if the knife isn't centered, they don't want it. Um, I don't understand that, that uh, your thought process there, but uh, whatever, okay. Uh, so that the centering, though, is good for those who care. Uh, the knife itself weighs 3.9 ounces, so it feels actually quite lightweight. I don't know why, but um, I thought it was going to be heavier. And then the sheath here, which it does come with, which is included, has the um, the belt or the uh, button snap there and a vertical only carry um, 
belt loop is 2.2 ounces so combined the whole package here is uh, what is that I believe 6.1 ounces and I've carried this on my belt right after I got it by the way my dad gave this to me for my birthday so um, yeah it is one of those like sentimental knives I probably will be keeping it as long as it well as long as it lasts and um, yeah I carried it the weekend right after I got it and uh, I really I don't really like carrying things from my belt but God, I got to be honest, I did not have a problem with this. I really liked it. And um, it's, yeah, man, it's great. One cool thing is, yeah, it does not have a pocket clip, but it's for position carry. You can carry it tip up and carry it tip down, carry it the other ways. I mean, in every single way, it'll close. So it's very versatile for lefties and uh, righties. Though the thumb stud, oh, I'm sorry, is actually reversible. Um, we got a, it looks like a T6 Torx bit right there. Or no, that's a hex, 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 what I say? That's a hex bit. <laughs> so let me give you just some opinion. I think it's a really great knife. Um, it is a hunting knife, so that's probably why you don't see uh, too many reviews of it. Um, it's not under their EDC section. Random thing there. Pretty nice thickness of the blade. Okay. Um, so one cool thing about this is you may see this gap right there between the Coco Bolo and this uh, supposed stainless steel. There's quite a big gap in there, and you may say, "Oh, that's you know bad design right there." No, that's actually good design because if you're you know skinning a deer or whatever. And blood and guts gets in there. All you simply, all you simply gotta do, run it under a faucet and uh, clean it right out. And um, so it's not like you have a little tiny thin channel that everything gets stuck in there for a million years. You know what I mean? So it's actually a really cool design. I think that's a great idea. Um, it's not quite flow through. If you didn't see that, it's got the, um, I believe it's again stainless steel backspacer there. And overall, I mean, the lines, every the overall finish is uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I mean, if some other knife company made this, you could easily probably belt out three times as much. It is a really nice knife. And uh, even for, you know, like a gentleman's blade, it's very slick. Um, let me see if I got some paper here. There we go. Now, this is kind of, sort of... It's kind of like um, printer paper. I don't even know where I got this, but let's see if I can show you here. Oh, that was a bad cut. There we go. I mean, it is razor sharp. Ooh, that was a nice cut. Did you see that one? Sorry for the, I know it's a white background and white paper, but I mean, geez, guys, this is the sharpest CRKT I have ever had. If that's not saying something, well, pff, I don't know what is. Uh, let me try to give you one more cut right here. I mean, no, you know, let me take some hair. I can sacrifice some hair for you guys. Oh, man. They are... Oh, can you see? Oh, there they are. Ooh, those are beautiful. So, Dad, if you're watching, thank you for the knife. Uh, this is the official review of it. Um, I love it very much. And uh, is a great knife I would highly recommend it to any hunter out there or sportsman or whatever or just you know gentlemen and you want a cool knife this is a good one right here uh, the price point um, MSRP around 75 or I'm sorry 70 but you can find it uh, Amazon or knife center for around the 35 to 40 mark okay so there it is that is the CRKT uh, Commer 3030 Thank you all for watching, and as always, feel free to ask questions if I forgot to mention something. There's my review of the 3030. Take care, and I'll see you around.